Hello friends, welcome to Global Tech Learn. In this video, we will practice role playing dimension related question in Power BI. The question is you have a Power BI data model that contains two tables, sales and date. The sales table can be related to the date table by either the sales date column or the ship date column. You need to create a role playing dimension using DAX. The role playing dimension must support the ability to filter sales where ship date is in the current month and sales date is in the prior month. Which type of tax expression should you use? And under option, we have calculated column, calculated table, measure and what if analysis. So here as per the question, we can understand the requirement is we want to apply filter on two date columns that is sales date and ship date and that should return sales from previous month and shipment from the current month. So that means we will require two date dimension tables so we can apply filter on two different months and we have just one table that is date. So based on that we can infer that we will require a calculated table to create an extra copy of the date table. So let's try that in Power BI. So here in Power BI based on the given case we have two tables one is sales table and another is date table and we want to filter based on sales date and ship date so here we have sales date and ship date so now here the constraint is if we create a relationship based on the sales date let's create that now since we have relationship based on sales dates the filter will work only for sales date but we need filter for ship date as well so for that let's create a one extra copy of this table so for that let's create a new table and let's name it as a ship date so here under ship date we can provide the calculated table and here we can provide the date table name and that's it and we have table that is nothing but a replica of the sales date table as the ship date now we have extra copy of the ship date and we can create a relationship between these two tables so let's drag ship date to the ship date key and now we have relationship between all three tables so here we can understand the date table that is primary table that we received from the source database we have created another copy of this table that is playing a role of ship date so that's why it is called as a role playing dimension table and now let's use these two tables in the visual so here let's add one table and in table we can add both the dates so let me add sales date ship date and sold quantity now here we can see we have sales on 1st september and shipment was on 1st sep September similarly if we scroll down and we need a record where sales happen in one month and shipment happen in the next month so let's check for that record and here we can see the sales has happened in 7th October and the shipment happened on 2nd November so we should expect this record for October and November month in 2013 so let's add filters on both the dates so let's first create a filter on the sales date and let's create another filter on ship date now we have both the filters let me zoom in and as we need 2013 September so let's make it as September 2013 so 2013 now we have sales for September 2013 and now under shipment date we want shipment for the October so let's filter on the October in shipment calendar And here we can see we have sales on the September and the shipment has happened in October. So we are able to get the data. So now let's go back to our question. So here we can say using calculated table, we are able to achieve this requirement. 